I became insanely rich on the Donut SMP in only a couple of hours, but I didn't do it the way you might think. Most people believe that the best way to start out on the server is to make a sugarcane farm, which is a decent way of making money, but definitely not the best. Another thing many people believe is that you need spawners to become rich, but that isn't how I got my money either. So then, how did I manage to get a hundred billion dollars with only 10 hours of playtime? Well, let me tell you. My first time logging onto the Donut SMP, I was clueless on what to do. So after doing some research, I found out that I first had to get better at crystal PvP, so I went on a practice server to perfect my skills. I made a video about that experience, which was awesome, so make sure to go check that out as soon as you're done watching this one. Anyways, moving on. Once I became a crystal PvP god, it was time to get back on the Donut SMP and resume my journey to become unfathom- unfa- insanely rich. I started off again, teleporting randomly into the world and traveling hundreds of blocks until I ran into a deep cave. This cave had a bunch of materials that could be useful to me in the future, so I decided to make my base here. One thing that I thought would be cool was to make a secret entrance, so I found a lava lake and made a hole with water underneath it so you could jump in. I would soon find out though that this was the biggest mistake I could have made. After my base was built, however, I felt pretty comfortable with it and even started to make a sugarcane farm for some passive income. Ten whoppers in 10 more whoppers. Speaking of money, you may be wondering how I already accumulated this much cash with just a few hours of playtime. That is a great question and one that I will definitely address later into the video, so stay tuned to find out. In the meantime, I used what I had to buy a full set of netherite gear, a sword, and a pickaxe off the auction house. For those of you who don't know, the auction house is where players can list items for sale that any player can buy with their money. This is a great way to obtain overpowered gear and endgame items very early on. I kept on editing my base, making it look really cool by adding spruce wood and some deep slate bricks. It took a while, but when it was all done, I thought that it looked pretty good. I had never made a base like this before, and it was dope to see the final outcome. Until the next day, I logged on and saw BOOM! Base raided, progress lost. All of that hard work creating this awesome looking base just for it to get destroyed. I figured that building a giant water elevator to my base made it way too easy to find. The good news, however, was that I still had my inventory I logged off with, along with all the cash I have accumulated throughout my time playing. So with nothing but those in a dream, I headed off on an adventure to find a new base, leaving my old one behind. Guys, I don't know if you can tell or not, but uh... Someone may have gotten to our base. Honestly, I didn't really need to make an entrance to my base. That was kind of dumb. Here's the thing. Not, not all is lost. We still have all of our cash and we didn't die or anything. So we still have our sets. So we're kind of chilling in that aspect. After another random teleport, I found myself flying across the ocean. Oh. I feel like I'm trying to break obsidian right now. I killed a few guardians and kept on searching for the perfect place to put a base. W tap. W tap and play. Eventually, I swam down an underwater cave as deep as I could, then dug straight down to bedrock, making sure to cover up my path behind me. I learned my lesson from last time and made sure I wasn't near any cave so people couldn't find my base easily. Finally, I had the perfect place to hide all my stuff. It looked very similar to the last design, utilizing deep slate and spruce, but I liked it nonetheless. When it was all finished, I logged off again, hoping that it would not receive the same fate as my last home. All right, were we raided, y'all? Were we raided? No? We got our base still? The next day, I found my base in the same state as I left it. I had not been raided, which was great news, because now I could use my time to go out and fight people. I tried to TP trap players, but I couldn't get anyone to fall for it. It didn't work. As I was starting to lose hope, some people in chat asked if they could teleport to me, but instead of killing them, I wanted to try something a little less boring. You see, many of the people who teleported to me were new, and did not have a lot of stuff, so I put them in fights, and whoever came out on top would receive money. However, I didn't think it would end the way it did. Request to teleport. I'll accept that. We'll get a screeny. Screeny. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. Get a screeny going. You must fight this polar bear while completely naked. There you go. No, no, you can't use a sword. Look out. You don't know, but something's crawling up behind you. He's coming. Look out. Look out. You can have it. Fine. 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 Looks good. And low. Yes! Yeah! Here's the thing, sweat pigeon. This is what I'm gonna tell you. You see that polar bear right there? That is your enemy. See that pigeon? You see that polar bear? That's your enemy. Oh! Oh! Get him! Get him! Get him! Oh! But he got clapped. Gotcha! GG's, man. GG's. Who's the Minecraft god? Guys, I don't know who this is. Are you in the chat? Oh! He is a Minecraft god. That's who.
<laughs> oh, triple team on him. Triple team on him. Get out. Get out, boy. Get out, boy. Get out, boy. Get him, boys. Get him. He's trying to kill people. Get him. Get him, boys. Get him. <laughs> yeah, we got him. Let's go. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Never an issue, boys. Never an issue. That's what happens when you try to fight us. Oh, who's that? Oh, it's Minecraft God. He's here again. Oh, fled Hyperion. He's pissed. Is he pissed? Oh, my. He's pissed, guys. Get him. Come here, Minecraft God. Come here. Come here, boy. Come here. There's so many people here. What is going on? There's so many here. Oh no, he invited his friends. Oh my God. There's so many here, bro. This is bad. This is not good, y'all. This is not good. I'm dipping out of this hoe. Bro, what the heck was that? Yeah, I'm out of there. Sorry if anyone died. Jeez, that was awful. Profit? Boys, did we profit? After that huge brawl went down, I narrowly escaped. I returned back to my base to process the events that had just gone down. I saw people in the chat asking to do some 1v1s to end the stream, which sounded like a fun idea. So I found a random open area and started teleporting people in one at a time to duel it out. I won a few matches and died a couple times, but in the end, it was all for fun and I enjoyed every second of it. I then ended the stream with big plans for one last day on the server. To start off the stream, I told everyone that I would be raiding their bases and giving them money depending on the number they get out of 10. For example, 1 out of 10 is 1 million, 2 out of 10 is 2 million, and so on and so forth. And that's how we started. But after running into one specific person, we would soon be giving away a lot more. Rate my base? Okay. Yo, what is this? How did you make this? Are you serious? <laughs> Bro, this is insane. <laughs> You just decided to make this one day? What am I looking at? Do you like? I mean, how have you not been like, how has this not been griefed yet? I'll give it, I'll give it a like two out of 10. It looks, on, on looks, it looks like, looks pretty sick. Probably like a nine, like an eight. But like, unusefulness, how do you, what do you do here? <laughs> Let's check out this base. Oh, okay, okay, I see you. I see the 128 skeleton spawners, 192 creeper spawners. There you go, my guy. Dude, it's all good. I don't need these. It's all good. Don't worry about it. Bruh, chill, chill, chill. Dav, I'm gonna keep it real though. This base needs some touching up on. Have a good day. Yeah, man, you too. You too, man. Ooh, okay, okay. Not bad, not bad. Oh my god, look at the skeleton spawners. The sugar cane farm going, gold blocks on the floor. This is good, this is good. What you rate it? Oh yeah, what do I rate it? Okay, okay. Four out of ten, I'd say. Boom. There you go, man. Four mil. Okay. Okay. Not bad. Dang. I like it, Maynard. I like it. I'm going to rate this base. Seven out of ten. There you go. Maynard, you get seven mil. Peace out, man. Pick number one to ten. I don't have that much, though, but I have some spare. Spare what? One through ten? How about lucky number seven? Oh, seven mil. <laughs> Freeze. Now jump and I give more. I see giving me more. <laughs> what are you doing? Bro is rich. Yeah, I'm at a quick 50 bill. Not bad. Chill. I can't even. Dude. Here's one more gift. <laughs> Boys are at 100 bill. People kept on giving me stuff while visiting their bases. And it made me feel bad because I was supposed to be helping them out. In the end, though, I decided to give out more and more money giving a hundred million dollars for every number I give people's bases. And they seem to really enjoy it. Would you like to buy a mystery box for four bill? Love the streams. I'll do it for two. All right. He says, all right, guys, he's doing it for two. Let's see that mystery box, boys. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. After raiding bases for a while, I knew that I was going to end the stream soon. Do free-for-all Lil Mabu's dad? I noticed that a lot of people were asking for me to do a free-for-all, where you teleport as many people as you can into one area where they all duel it out. This seemed like an awesome way to end the crazy adventure I had been on these past couple of days. So I told chat to send TPA requests, and I started mass accepting every single one of them. Everyone wants a free-for-all? I don't even want to participate in it. I'm just, I just want to watch it. There y'all go. Teleport whoever you guys want in. <laughs> this is awesome. Who's drowning? It's all netherite. You guys are in stacked. 
You guys have a good, uh, you guys have a good free-for-all? My god, look at all these people. Oh, Lukia's getting destroyed. No. But he's flying. Pebble's just going. Uh-oh. Super Miguel's low. How is this guy staying alive with no armor? No way shields are that broken. <laughs> I love how no one touches me. <laughs> I'm leaving. I'm gone. The end result was crazy, seeing so many people fighting it out. Nobody dared to touch me, however, as I had insanely OP bodyguards that offered me protection. So while I sat there and admired the chaos I had created, I thought back to when I had nothing, just starting out on the server, and all the people that had never watched a stream of mine before, donating their hard-earned cash to help get me started. Big thanks to you guys and everyone who has subscribed recently. Your support is phenomenal. I hope you guys can catch a stream soon, and if not, then I'll hopefully see you in the next video. Peace.